Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts Veterans Day. I'm actually going to a Veterans Day event. So the woke cringe, the culture war where we all lost because of the woke cringe and the far right that exploited it. So it's a two way street with how this culture war went. Everybody wants to blame the left. Everyone wants to blame the right. And they work it together. And there's just no stopping this this drain, the spiral of insanity that goes on. So the woke will do something stupid and cringy. It gets exploited and amplified in far right media. Did it exist? Yes. But then the response is out of context. You know, like people saying death threats to schools and hospitals. That's not the way, guys. And then uh, let's say a liberal progressive politician will step outside the party line like Seth Moulton here in Progressive Massachusetts after Trump won said, maybe we should reconsider about boys and girls sports, guys. It's a little too much. Maybe, that, maybe that's not the hell we should die on. And he has two daughters himself. And yet there was the woke cringe mob ask, demanding his resignation, having protests, a very small amount. But the thing is, the far right mimics the cringe woke. So after Trump won here in Massachusetts, I didn't see this in 2016. A lot of people, thing is, Trump was always arrogant. He was always a narcissist, always thinking about himself, but he wasn't reckless. He was strategic. In 2024, he's a reckless. He's not in control, guys. The Trump of 2016 is not the Trump of 2024. We have oligarchs, billionaires in complete control of our country. We even have the Russia kind of like poking us with the Putin right now with Melania's nude photos. I know, but it was just a poke, right? Like, we know how weak you are, Donald Trump. So, the response of 2024 of a small vocal cringe woke and anti-woke. Because here in Massachusetts, we had like some really far right right supporters. And the day after, two days after the election, they were like on the overpass of highways with their Trump flags. And I always, whenever I see a Trump flag, I always think of it as a, as a progressive rainbow flag. Like they're obsessed with flags. I remember, that's the reason why I left Twitter. And here on YouTube, it's no better. The great wing grift, specifically targeting Catholics and Christians. Because like, you know, it's like, did you... You voted for a criminal, guys. You voted for a criminal. Does it sound like the crucifixion of Jesus Christ where we chose Barbarous? We chose Barbarous over Jesus. I'm not saying Kamala Harris was Jesus, by the way. I'm just saying she was just a really, actually, decent person. And you get so caught up on that pro-life issue. I'm 100% pro-life, by the way. But you didn't care that abortions went up after Roe v. Wade. You didn't care about all those ballot measures that increased access to abortion. You don't care actually about pregnant women, the needs of pregnant women. I mean, Kamala Harris is offering $6,000 for a newborn baby to have, to live, not to abort. <laughs> and um, that is just a woof right up because you were so in your worship of Donald Trump. He is a narcissist. He is an arrogant narcissist who loves it. He loves it when you pray for Donald Trump. You're no better than the woke cringe alley ship, guys. I don't know how else to say that. But, um, yeah, the, the cringe of the woke is real. It exists. But how you respond to it, it's just as cringy. Anyway, I love you all.